looking for God. I'm trying to see God behind the storm. I want to see God in the storm. As so I begin to seek him, how many realize a reason why we don't have a lot of things because we don't seek the Lord? All right. The Bible says, cuz, if you seek him, you shall find him. All right. uh, and the reason you haven't found him yet because you haven't never looked for him. Well, right. oh, my mind is just like jobs. You can't just say, the interview will come to my house, but I got to get, put the proper attire on and go knock on some doors and send resumes so I can find the job. That's right. As so I begin to deal with the how many know seeking? Uh, is an attempt to find something or someone. All right. The past participle of the verse is sought. My, my. Uh, what do you say? The past participle of the, the word seek is sought. And when I begin to look at that, sought is what you say when you're done. Okay. Mm. So when I sought the Lord, meaning when I'm not looking for him no more, because why? Why I was looking for him at, I've already found him. All right. Alright, alright. I'm talking all about yes, myself yes. in here. So I begin to dissect the thing and begin to do the homiletics of this text. I look at the word storm. Storm. When we think about a storm, a storm is a disturbance in the atmosphere. Marked by wind and rain, by rain and snow, hail, sleep, thunder, and lightning. That's what we consider a storm. Do you know a storm in our side? But how many know even God matriculates itself even in the storm? Yeah. When the lightning bolts just how the pretty, how they flash throughout the sky. Let it know nobody can paint like God. All right. don't find no okay. If I was rhetorical today and begin to just look at the picture and how God paints. Yeah. How the thunder roll way over there and the lightning flashes over there. God let me know I'm in control of the whole narrative. Yeah. Am I talking all right in here? Yeah. My God in here. How many realize as I begin to personalize storms? How many know a storm, oh my God, is a disturbed or agitated state? Anybody in here ever been agitated about what you're going through? I'm talking to some real folks up in here today. Anybody been agitated? When I personalize storm, it's a disturbed or agitated state. My mind, my, my, I don't want to be bothered, don't want to be touched, I don't want to see nobody, don't call me, I'm going through. To be uh, also in or to exhibit violent passions. Oh, when folks going through, oh, uh, they get dangerous when they don't have the fullness of who God. That's right. When they're not looking for God in there. How many of you get rage at the stuff that's happening? You? you just get so mad, you start chunking stuff. Chunking is a country word. Chunking stuff. Throwing stuff. Oh, you're going through. You don't want to be bothered. Get out. Leave me alone. Don't put that stuff. I ain't got time for that today. Girl, don't you know I'm going through? Just keep it down there. I'll catch you with it later. Storm. Can I personalize storm? Can I talk about right in here? So we find it out. Who you taking note? A storm is a disturbance. Marked by all the attributes of the storm. Yeah. Personal of the storm is a disturbance also, but an agitated state. Right. How many realize? So the next part of the storm before we preach on is storm bound. Oh How many ever been storm bound? Wow. All of y'all raise your hands up in here. Your storm has bound you. Yeah. Let me look into, oh my God, the natural state. How many know when you're storm bound? How many know the storm designs to cut off from the outside communication? How many know the wind blow here and the lights go out? And if you're totally electric, you have no sense of moving. Everything in your house is dark. How many know that's what the storm is designed to do? It's designed to cut off your communication. Uh, how many know the devil sends storms sometimes to cut off your communication with God? Oh yeah. uh, my God, here in the storm, how many get agitated when you ain't got no lights? Yeah. And when the garage door won't work? What's wrong? I paid my bill on time. They didn't have my lights on time. Then you call them, they said it might be one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> ain't got no real folks up in here, up in here. I'm talking about storm bound. Am I doing all right in here? How many realize that it cut off the outside communication? 
by the storm or its effects. How many know it affects you in many ways? So when you got to look at God in your storm, hey, can I preach in here? My God in here, as we get to look at our text, now since we understand, Lord, little Peter, I know what you just said, but Lord, I need to pray and see God in the storm. Yeah. I need to see God in this storm. How many know I can allow this storm to affect me? The way I would naturally man will be affected. But Brother Tony, I got to pray and look for God in the storm. When trouble is in my home, I shouldn't just look at it like the world look. Lord, I need to say, Lord, what are you doing in this situation? And how is this situation going to make me better? I'm talking to somebody yeah, here. Yeah. How many have ever been broken here? My, my, my. And you couldn't go to Mickey D's. You had to search the cabinets of stuff you thought you forgot about. And you had to cook stuff that you normally would cook. But you got to learn how to find God in the storm. And the Bible reads in here, how many know in my distress? Uh, how many know sometimes we get distressed. Yes, we do. How many know distress is a great strain of difficulties? Well, is there anybody in this house ever had some difficulties? Oh my God, to force or overcome by in inflicting pain. How many know anybody ever been in some pain? Whether it's natural soul in your body, yeah. whether it's dealing with your mates, right. whether it's dealing with your family, yeah. whether it's dealing with your job. Yeah. How many know we have been afflicted with pain? How many know to cause worry or to be troubled and to be upset? Well, Has there anybody in here ever been upset? Yes. Because of your present circumstance. Awesome. Every time I turn around, seems like something else pops up. Well, Hallelujah, I couldn't afford that. How in the world I'm going to be able to afford this? Awesome. But I got to pray and seek God in my storm. <laughs> Can I talk in here? And call upon me. How I many know the Lord is telling me today? And call upon me in the day of trouble. Yeah. And I will deliver thee. Right. And thou shalt glorify me. Right. So when I'm in a storm, I need to glorify God. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Lord, when the lights go out, I got to say thank God for the water. All right. All right now. Find no help yeah, yeah. When the lights go out, thank God for the candles. Yeah. When the lights go out, I to give God a praise. Yeah. I got to turn a negative into a positive and thank God. God, I thank you. We got enough of picking him up in here. Yeah. I'm going to praise you until the lights come back on. Right, I'm going to praise you until yeah. I can see. Yeah. You've been so good to me. Yeah. Hey, how high your neighbors are praising and seeking in your storm. In your storm. Oh, my, my, my. How many of the Lord invites all of us uh, to come to him. Yes. Don't he do it? Yes, he does. How many know sometimes we go through stuff because we created it? How many know some storms is because of your bad choices? All right. Some storm is because of what you've been doing. Yeah. But even in your trouble, yeah. he says, Come to me. Come to me. They ain't gonna have no help yeah, in here. Yeah. Can I preach in here? Preach. Even in your trouble, yeah. you got to come to the God. How many ever I cry All right now. unto the Lord yeah, yeah. in my trouble? Yes. And He, my, my He heard me. Yes. And He delivered me. Yes. He brought me out yeah. of my troubles. Yes, He did. And I'm gonna give Him a praise. Yes. I wish I had some help in the hope today. Yeah, yeah. And the Bible reads, Oh, that men would praise the Lord. Yeah. How many ever created your own storm? Okay. Lord, I got myself in here. Yeah. Lord, I messed up. Yeah. Lord, I keep on bumping my head. Right. Lord, I keep on doing the wrong thing. Yeah. But today, yeah. I'm stretching my hands to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I get a 
and Jesus stole away praying about 3 a.m. in the morning with the storm and raging, the wind was blowing, the billows were rolling, trouble was everywhere. I'm rocking and reeling, right. but can I holler at you today? Say, neighbor, God saw you when you were struggling. God saw you when you were rolling.
has a sense of development. God is developing you in your storm. Yes. Tell your neighbor the more you go through, the more you go through, the greater your blessing. The greater your blessing. Mm, can I testify you yeah. God? Can somebody else testify to me? I'm going to testify for you. How many been through some hell? But you made it. How many been through some rough times in your life? But you made it. Woo! How many had to cry and turn the pillow over? But you made it. In my distress. What did I do, Sister River? What did I know what else to do? I called. How many know he always answers his call? Yes. He don't look at the call ID and see who you are. That's right. I called. Said, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Yeah. How many know he's a very present help? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. In a time of trouble. Yes, he is. How many of you guys in a storm? You don't mess with me. But I'm going to praise him. Tell him, give me my praise and praise him. Through this storm. Hallelujah. Because when I come through, whoo, that's what they miss in law. They missed it. When I come through the storm, I know the storm developed me to know that God was with me all the time. Yes, We're inseparable. I, can, uh, I got my big brother with me. Good God Almighty. How many know when you got some bag, uh, you can attack in his storms? I'm going to throw another narrative real fast in here. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Giants do fall. Giants do fall. Mm. How many of that child of opposition that has been in your life? You know how we gonna, what we're going to do to get it now? We're going to give God some praise.